Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Jessica, and today we are talking about a greater love. My best friend in high school had today's verse printed on her letterman jacket. I was a new Christian at the time, and I didn't fully understand why that verse had merited to be forever embroidered on such a significant garment. I'm sure a lot of you know the things you choose to put on your letterman jacket are extensions of your high school identity. So let me share why she chose it. See, her dad had been a sheriff in our county and on duty, he responded to a disturbance call. The situation went down and tragically, my friend's dad had died protecting others in the line of duty. He was survived by her sister and her mom who was pregnant with my friend at the time. Our verse for today is John 15, 13, which says, Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. Before this saying of Jesus, though, Jesus is discussing we are the branches and he is the vine. He is essentially saying apart from him, we can't do very much. Like plants need roots to live, we need to remain in him and through being connected to him, we not only live, but we grow. To keep the plant metaphor going, we produce more branches, more flowers, more fruit. In verse nine and 10 of the chapter preceding our verse, Jesus says, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you, abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. And then again, our verse again today, greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. And then the verse right after, you are my friends if you do what I command you. Do you see what Jesus is saying here? If we keep his commandments, we stay in his love. We stay close to Jesus when we live like him. But his command is to love one another how he modeled love. So how did Jesus love others? Jesus modeled a love that gives up everything for others. A love that gives up everything for others so they can live. In our day-to-day -day lives, most of us do not have opportunities to die for others like Jesus did, like my friend's dad did. So how do we love others like Jesus? We can die to our preferences. We can die to considering ourselves first. We can surrender our way for others' ways. We can look for opportunity for our actions to show that we believe others are more important than ourselves. Jesus is saying here, I love you to the point that I'll die for you so you can live and love like me forever. Jesus loves you. And he would love for you, for me, to love others by putting them first. What's incredible about laying ourselves down for others is that we carry Jesus's reputation with us when we do that. In a similar way, my friend's dad's legacy didn't die that day. His name was Kent Allen and my friend's name, Kenna Alana. Just as she lives and bears his name, we live and through our lives, we bear Jesus's legacy through how we love others. Jesus sacrificed everything for us and invites us to love others through sacrificing ourselves. I pray that Jesus shows you and me today little ways that we can live and love like him today and this week. Thanks for watching The Daily Devo.